Fernando of Zapata. My name is Iker Cortez. Maybe you remember me from some TV shows as Master Chef or La Buena Vida. Welcome to Garden Group. This is my garden. Hopefully, will be the first of a lot and a lot of other recipes. Rice, nothing fancy. Start to mastering bases. Bases like rice. This is like pasta. Then we can mix it and start to mess it around. Rice arrives to Mexico from China to the port of Veracruz and to the port of Guerrero and here in Morelos, my hometown, Cuernavaca. And in Cuautla and Puente de Ixta, all the weather conditions, they were uh, perfect. They mix both of the seeds of the rice that arrived to Mexico and we get a very, very special rice that is called Arroz Morelos. It is only from this region. This is not Arroz Morelos rice, but still it's a very, very good rice. What we're going to use for this recipe, salt and pepper, vegetable oil, a cup of rice, water, a measure cup. We're going to start by cleaning the rice. A little bit of rinse, it doesn't hurt. Also, it helps to remove uh, this whitey stuff. I can't remember the word in English. We're going to need a pan, spoon, fork, the thingy. Again, I can't remember uh, the word in English. So let's get started. First of all, we had our rice here in a bowl and we're going to add a little water so we can clean it a little bit. We have to do this at least twice. We have here our rice that it's actually rinsing. You can see all this white stuff. We are going to remove it just a little bit. Next step, we have to rinse our rice. Okay, I'm going to use the bowl. You can actually rinse this at your sink. Basically what we want is to have our rice separate from the water. Is to clean our rice. Okay, people, now what we're going to do, we're going to turn on our heat, okay? We want our pot nice and hot we're going to add our vegetable oil how much is it about one tablespoon so what we're going to do it's actually to add the rice inside our pot and it's going to start doing a lot of these funny noises let's do this okay we're going to mix it a little bit because we don't want all this to stick in the bottom of our pot In the meantime, we're going to measure our water. One cup and one third of water, kindish. Now our rice has started to, to be a little uh, golden, okay? And that's what we want. You can see all that smoke. That is just good news. Okay, this is the point where we are going to add salt and pepper to our rice, okay? How much we're going to use it? We're going to use about a tablespoon of salt. For me, it's enough. Maybe you guys want to add a little bit more. Salt and pepper to taste. It starts to burn a little bit. This is the point where we add water. How much water? It's gonna be around one cup, one on the third, okay, of water. And this is the point. We add it to our pot. This is the point that we're going to low our heat to set up our stove to our minimum. Entonces, vamos a buscar the fire and we are going to put our thingy in our pot where basically we're just going to wait. So, for those all of you ask me that we forget the things on the stove, we're going to set up our cell phones to 13 minutes, okay? It has already started. So, we are going to wait a little bit and basically let's just sit wait and cheers okay time has just passed and we are ready for our next step it's basically just turn up the heat and we're going to wait for 10 minutes have patience so another 10 minutes have had just passed and our rice it's almost ready but it still need two more steps our next step very very special tool that probably everyone in our kitchen we have one of those it is a fork so we're going to use a fork for our next step we're going to move it with the fork because we want to keep the fluffiness of the rice or the fluff of the rice if we use one of these tools we were probably going to make a mess basically we're going to open it and we are going to move our rice okay what we want it's that the steam keeps 
cooking the rice so our rice it's almost ready five more minutes and another five but believe me it's gonna be worth it okay probably a lot of people are going to hit me like this is a uh, very complicated or it's not worth it actually to try but what I'm trying to do here is sharing what it works for me hopefully in the future I will share with you different types of cooking techniques that I know and then have had work for me. Hopefully it worked for you. Please be nice. If you don't like it, you can go to another channel or whatever you prefer. So now what we're going to do is we're going to wait another five minutes. Okay, basically what we're going to do is going to remove our thingy from over here. We want actually the steam goes out. Okay, I know this sounds a little bit complicated, but if you follow the times, you won't have any trouble with this rice and with this you have an infinity of variety of dishes using a white rice as a base our nice dish our rice it's done it's already cooked it's already fluffy and i'm gonna show it to you so basically what we're going to do we're going to remove our rice and we're going to set it up on our dish and pretty much we are done our rice it's already cooked it's already delicious and it's all ready to eat okay people here we got our rice all nice and fluffy again i know you have to remember a lot of times maybe but if you set up everything on your cell phone or in your thingies in the kitchen you won't have any trouble this rice it's a very solid uh, base um, you can mix it with vegetables like jackie meshi i'm going to share that uh, recipe with you later on this is the base of jackie meshi that it's actually the rice okay people if you like the recipe and if you try it at home please take pictures send it to me tag me i'll be more than happy to see what you guys do with the rice please share follow me in my other social media please like and share and hopefully see you guys around here in garden groove in another video i'm going to write everything in here all the information that you can actually need if you do the rice please send a picture please tag me i would be more than honored if you guys do my recipes so guys have a good one have fun from Cuernavaca Morelos, from Garden Group, I'm Iker Cortez, I'm El Señor Lobo, Salchichas y Rock and Roll, see you guys soon.